and probably not this year, obviously, but maybe next year we'll have some big old lilac blooms that we can smell from the porch. What do you I think? I told you it's gonna be three to four years. I chose not to listen that it will be three to four years and it will be probably just <laughs> in a couple days. Hey, it's Billy. And Pat. We're here in the backyard with a garden and yard update. Yes, we spent the last few months with an extra long winter, so we weren't sure when we could put things outside. So when we did, we filmed it, but it was always in the spur of the moment. So yeah. you're gonna get to see what we did over the past few months. So watch these clips and then we'll show you the end result. Yes. Hey, Pat here in the backyard. Just wanted to give you a quick update on all of this. All of the tulips that we planted, um, the last time you've probably seen them, unless you were following us on Instagram, is when we were planting the bulbs. And look how much they've grown. Um, it's pretty amazing. So we have all of these tulips in this corner. We planted some daffodils that have all sprung up and they're actually kind of at the end of their blooming season already. Um, they were great. And then we have some more tulips, same kind. In the other corner, there's actually three kinds of tulip bulbs that we planted. White ones, this red and pink mix, and then ones that haven't bloomed yet, these um, orangey mango uh, colored ones. I forget what they're actually called, but they're like an orange color. They're up, but the um, flowers haven't bloomed yet. So it's been so awesome to see this life cycle of it go from just the red ones, then the pink ones, then the white ones have come up and there's still another set of orange ones, mango ones that are gonna pop up. So it's like the life cycle of the backyard is changing and it's really, really fun to watch. Oh, hey there. Little change of scenery. We are at my parents' house in Pennsylvania and coincidentally, we were thinking about planting some lilac uh, on the side of our porch at home. My parents have this massive lilac bush. There's actually a pear tree growing up out of the middle. That's what that really tall piece is. But they have this huge lilac bush that has all of these, you know, seedlings that are growing underneath. So they are letting us take some. So we'll get some lilac for number one, for free. Number two, from my parents' house. So it's a nice little thing. There's my dad. Hey, George. Uh, so of course, Billy is doing the work while I am supervising. You're doing great. There's my mom in the window. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> Here's the bush. And, oh, don't mind. Crack. Um, <laughs> there's the seedlings, saplings, whatever you want to call them, underneath. So we're just like clearing some space out because there's some other trees and plants that are growing. And then just some of these little guys here, uh, we're just going to dig out and we'll take them home. Lilac bush number one has been acquired. Looking good. Billy's still in there in the I jungle. Am. How is it? Good. A little muddy right now, but that's good for transporting it. So perfect. Great work. And fast forward a couple days later, the lilacs are in the ground on our porch. Billy, of course, again doing all the work like normal. Yep. Looking good. Um, yeah, thank you. I only had to trim them a little bit just to kind of let some energy go back to the roots because I know we're planting them a little bit late this season, but I'm excited. Yeah. And that's how you do it. Yup. Hello, everybody. It hi. is, hi, Billy. <laughs> it is planting day. Uh, the backyard is coming along very nicely. Uh, we got the garden bed set up. They are mostly fully planted, but we have a new batch of um, plants that we got from DutchBulbs.com. They sent them to us, thanks DutchBulbs. Um, they gave us our tulips and our daffodils, um, and they sent us a new batch of plants that are gonna look really pretty. So we're just figuring out where we're gonna put them. We drew a little map. It's stressful and fun, and I'm so excited <laughs> to get the plants So what are we looking at, Billy Bob? A bunch of plants. <laughs> no, we, uh, we went through a big list and looked at what we really wanted in our yard and we narrowed down to some lilies, caladium, uh, euchanasia, phlox, bunch of stuff. Some, and stuff. ostrich ferns for the back corner. Ooh, soaking, soaking. Ranunculus, soaking, soaking. 
Now we just have to plant them all. Are you so excited? I mean, yes, but nervous about where we're gonna put them. Cause there's so much space! Yeah! Maybe to us there is. <laughs> So now we're here in the yard, which this area I would just call Raised Bed Central. <laughs> <laughs> but we have our sedum path over here that we worked really hard on to kind of give an entrance, surrounded by herbs, vegetables, all the funky ones that you saw us plant earlier uh, this spring. And we created a little bit of a step system here where we're going to put some rocks around this uh, area to create almost like a moat. Then we have our lawn. Peonies. Tons of planted bulbs here from DutchBulbs.com. Have some cotton candy grass that hopefully will come up soon. Some huge ferns in the back. Most of the, most of the bulbs from the tulips and daffodils are already done, but there's more to come. And we also create this huge curve along the property to add something dynamic to what you're seeing, and it looks amazing. We were so shocked at how great it looked. We put this little hedge over here called a Hakura Nashiki. Nashiki? Nice. It's like a mini willow bush. So that's nice and anchored here, which you can see directly from the back window when you walk down the hallway. It's really nice to kind of have that as a focal point. And this is a future secret spot that we will talk about more in the future. But we wanted to create a nice little nook back here. So we have so many flowers in the bed that are going to pop up surrounding this area. And you guys will see that soon. And we're here up on our back porch where we are growing our Ruby Moon Hyacinth bean. Did I did it? Did I do it? Ruby yeah. Moon Hyacinth bean? Yes. Um, they are growing nicely. Kind of got a, a late start, a slow start because... No, got an early start, Pat. <laughs> oh, an early start. <laughs> Way too early. Way too early, but um, they're doing all right now. They're getting great sun and hopefully they will really bush up and take over so we have like a little bit of a privacy wall made of Ruby Moon Hyacinth beans. And why not wrap this all up with an aerial view of the yard and all the hard work that we've done so far. If you want to see more of our progress on the yard and the front and all of our planting adventures that we're doing, just follow us here on YouTube. We'll be posting and also on Instagram. We do a lot of daily posting there. So see you guys soon. Bye. My back hurts so much. It's a lot of hard work. I'm trying to implement a lot of yoga moves into my bending and snapping. Snapping. <laughs> <laughs>